good afternoon everyone uh, respected panel members and fellow researchers i am vaishnavi singh from nit jhansi i am here to present my paper titled comparative study of deep learning networks for lung nodule detection in ninth international conference on computer science and information technology 2022 Uh, and this paper uh, this paper have read, have been written under the guidance of dr indu saini and uh, these are the outlines for my today's paper uh, introduction and diagnosis for lung cancer machine learning convolution neural network objective and what are the data set i have used and uh, later i had discussed me methodology and in that i had used uh, three networks and uh, later uh, accompanied by uh, results conclusion and the references uh, while talking to uh, while coming to my topic uh, let me start with the introduction first uh, lung cancer uh, talking about a lung cancer lung cancer is the most uh, prevalent uh, disease and lung cancer is the uh, if we come to the basic definition of the lung cancer it is the abnormal and uncontrolled growth of tissue in lungs which invades surrounding organs and according to the uh, american cancer cancer society it is it estimates the statistics for lung cancer in the united state for 2022 and these are as follows uh, about uh, uh, this much uh, new cases for lung cancer have been estimated and uh, about this much data set uh, and this much uh, data have been uh, given uh, which uh, ca causes for the deaths for, from the lung cancer in both the sexes in 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 india lung cancer constitutes 6.9% of all new cancer cases and 9.3% of all cancer related deaths in both sexes increasing population and pollution may turns lung cancer into an overlooked global pandemic and uh, as we know as we talk about the diseases diagnosis plays a uh, very important role in the detection of the diseases so uh, while uh, talking to the uh, while talking about the diagnosis there are two type of uh, diagnosis like biopsy uh, and it it is a clinical modality for lung cancer for cancer detection and uh, for non invasive diagnostic diagnostic imaging uh, it is used to reveal the inner structure in the human body the, and uh, there are various methods like mri computer tomography x ray and ultrasound and uh, in my in my topic i had used ct scan images uh, because of the uh, various reasons that uh, the images that are produced with the help of the ct scan are of very high resolution and a ct scan has uh, higher likelihood of revealing under underlying lung tumors that routine chest, chest x rays it shows the size shape and position of any lung tumors and can help find enlarged lymph nodes that might contain cancer that has spread ct scan is all around tool for imaging the wide range of thoric uh, thoric abnormalities that can be present in patient with lung cancer limited availability and lung examination time of various other technique compared with ct has restricted their uses and uh, in this uh, while uh, talking about the networks i had used uh, the networks of machine learning and uh, machine learning is uh, basically a tool that enables machine to learn and improve its performance based on previous results and uh, there are various approaches uh, used in machine learning and uh, one of them is cl classification uh, and it is an approach in which the computer program learns and predict class for the data point and uh, basically machine learning uh, Uh, it is divided into two part that is supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning supervised machine learning um, can be termed as uh, it is a learning in which we train the machine using data which is well leveled and unsupervised is the training of machine using information that is neither classified nor labeled and allowing the allowing the algorithm to act, act on that information without guidance and uh, Uh, there are various machine learning algorithms first one is like uh, support vector uh, vector machine and uh, uh, diagram as you can see there and it is the most popular supervised uh, learning algorithm which develops a kernel function to decide the object space into class and uh, while talking to the uh, about the k nearest neighbor it decides the class of object depending on the class of its k nearest neighbor and uh, 
here is the diagram for the neural network from the uh, from the network input uh, we get uh, the input in the input layer and uh, there are so many uh, hidden layers associated between the input layer and the output layer and after that uh, we get the uh, our desired output uh, in neural network has three type of layers that is input layer which takes input data hidden layer uh, which process the input data and output layer which shows the output of corresponding input data and uh, in this uh, every layer has a number of nodes generally called neurons and each neurons has weight bias and activation function associated with it initially data is divided into training and testing sets uh, when we talk about the training uh, training and testing data sets uh, then uh, both the data set cannot be similar in uh, in training the weights and bias are used to predict a class in forward pass and based on that result an error is calculated the weight and bias are then updated based on the error using an algorithm that is gradient descent or adaptive movement estimation that is um, during back prop propagation in testing the accuracy of the train system is defined uh, then uh, convolutional uh, convolutional neural network it is a basically a category of neural network or deep learning which which uh, which uses number of uh, filters pooling layers activation la layer and uh, and various other method uh, to determine the output uh, this feature uh, this feature vector is then passed through a fully connected layer and soft max layer to classify the image and similar to neural network and accuracy defined during testing and uh, uh, when i talk about my third topic and uh, my objective is to uh, need to develop there is a need to develop efficient method which improves the accuracy and increase the endurance rate of a patient here is my methodology first firstly uh, uh, database collection was done then database was uh, analyzed then ct scan images and then i had passed uh, these ct scan images with, through the three network that is resnet 101 exception google net and after that uh, uh, nodule detection was done and uh, result is further discussed in the uh, uh, further uh, further slides uh, talking about my data set i had used uh, two type of data set that is lidc dre data set and luna 16 data set uh, while talking about this data set this is the most widely used and accessible data set which consists of just ct scan ct scan images of lung cancer and four seasoned thoracic radiologists contributed their lesion innovations to the lidc dre data set and in this uh, there are 1018 low dose lung ct and from 1010 uh, lung patients uh, means total there are uh, 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 1010 lung patient that are included in lidc dre data set and uh, talking about my second data set that is uh, it it is comp uh, comprised of uh, 1186 nodules in 8888 ct scan images and these both uh, data sets are widespread resources and are available online for the creation instruction and assessment of cad technique for the early identification and diagnosis of lung cancer and talking about my uh, networks first is uh, exception and it stands for extreme inception it is comp composed of 36 convolutional layers and uh, this module try to exploit factoring two tasks done by single convolution kernel mapping cross channel and special correlation in this every layer has all possible filter size so that they build a block which had multiple filter and second network is that is resnet 101 uh, when we talk about training a deep neural network it is basically a challenging process uh, the reason behind this is uh, because of the problem of the vanishing gradient problem in order to avoid this problem uh, and uh, this vanishing gradient problem leads to the extinction of weight and uh, extinction of weight we can reduce by making the use of residual network residual network has different architecture uh, with with different layer, layers like resnet uh, 50 and resnet 101 uh, res, residual residual network utilizes the concept of skip connection and uh, skip connection in this network makes residual networks more efficient and helps user to perform the operation more efficiently and talking about my uh, third network that is google net the basic building block of this is inception module 
since that every layer has all possible filter size so that they build a block a convolutional block in which uh, there are uh, multiple filter size and we let the network the backdrop the learning times which limit less and let the network backdrop de decide which way to update based on the particular objective function as an in inception module there are two images and other of the google net paper called called the navy implementation and this is called the actual implementation followed and here are the results uh this is the results of uh, accuracy results uh this uh, this is my first network exception accuracy and this uh, google net accuracy and resnet accuracy and here are the uh, accuracy i have compared of the three networks like uh, the resnet had the higher uh, second highest accuracy that is 97.63% and after that followed by google net and exception uh loss function uh, while uh, while uh, while finding the parameters i had uh, tried to find the loss function of these all three networks and if we examine the loss function of the mentioned three networks we find that google net had the lowest loss function resnet 101 had the second lowest loss function and exception had the greatest loss function and these are the graphs which i had obtained during my uh, training and testing process and uh, com while coming to the conclusion as stated it is essentially to identify malignant tumors in their earliest stage with the fewest possible false positive the proposed methodology uses adam in three networks and if we talk about the adam it is a adaptive moment estimation it 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 is used because it is computationally efficient requires less memory and well suited for the problems that are large in terms of data and it is a it it has the advantage of combining the two other extension that is adam grade and the root mean square propagation and uh, i had to uh, use the, uh, these three networks and uh, comparative analysis of uh, these three networks has been presented in this uh, paper and these are the references thank you